Hi friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing a reading challenge. Am I nervous about this reading challenge? Absolutely. Absolutely because I'm not good when you give me like time constraints. I'm really actually horrible at it. But I wanted to try something different for my channel. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to do, I know a lot of people do like a spinny wheel in order to have like it land on a number and that's how many hours they read. I'm going to use a random number generator and because it is already Sunday and it's already 530. I'm only going up to five, five hours for today because I started late. So today is going to be easy peasy, but starting tomorrow, I will let it go all the way up to eight hours. Is that crazy? It is absolutely crazy. I don't even physically know how I could get eight hours of reading done tomorrow. We're going to see what happens. You know, we're all here for the chaos. That's the whole point. But anyways, let's generate our first number to see how much I have to read today, which is Sunday. Praying it's like two hours, something easy to start off with, but knowing my luck, I don't, I don't have high hopes. All right, friends, welcome to my computer. It's a little messy. It's a little crazy. I'm apologizing now if it's a little shaky cam. I've noticed too that it has issues like focusing the camera. So I'm sorry about that, but ready? Let's generate. What? All right. So the generator gave us one hour when I asked them to be good to us. I was not expecting this. I'm not complaining whatsoever. This is the best news. Low expectations. I'm having the best time, which probably means prepare yourself for tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But okay. I don't know what I'm reading yet, but I will check back in as soon as I have my book locked down. And I guess it doesn't really matter what I'm reading as long as I'm reading for an hour. But you know me, I need to know what I'm reading. So I'm going to figure that out and then I will check in with you guys. And I need to also figure out how I'm going to do my timer. Maybe on my iPad. This is the issue of filming on your phone. I don't always know how to do these things. All right, check in with you soon. I'm updating my Goodreads, which I never do. And so I'm going to set my timer. You'll see it here in a second. And I'm going to listen to A Darker Shade of Magic. I'm buddy reading this with Rainy from Rainy Blue Reads and Danny from Danny Dabbles. So I want to get a head start because this book's out of my comfort zone and I'm worried it's going to take me a long time. So that's what we're going to do. Hello, hello. So I've listened to almost 30 minutes of my hour. Technically I listen at a faster speed so I've listened to about 35 minutes of the actual audiobook of A Darker Shade of Magic. What I can tell you, I'm already confused. I'm not surprised. It feels like a book that I definitely should have had the physical book in my hands. I made a mistake. It's okay. What I know so far, not much, not much. We're following Cal, I believe is his name. He can apparently go through these different dimensions into different Londons because there are different versions of London. Magic is not good for everybody. Um, it can do a ton, a ton of damage. So I'm very slowly picking away what is supposed to be going on, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm very confused, but I will listen to it a little bit later. Hi friends, the first hour is done, I did it. Day one done. I can't believe it. it was super easy. I got laundry folded and put away. I mopped the floor. I put away all my workout stuff. I um, went through my closet to donate a bunch of clothes that I don't need anymore. I'm about 13% into A Darker Shade of Magic. It is such a rich, complex, developed world. Am I still confused? Absolutely. Do I feel like I will better understand things as we continue? Yes. But I can already tell you that, like, I will need to have a real physical book at some point. It is a lot of information, and I feel like doing it on audio is a disservice. This truly is a series I think that's meant to be immersion read. So we'll see what I can do. I'm going to see if I can get it from the library anywhere and um, go from there. But so far, I've been loving it. What I am going to do, though, is really quick, before I start unwinding for the night, I am going to do the random generator for tomorrow and that's because let's be honest when I wake up tomorrow I won't have time and I just want to know what I'm gonna have to read tomorrow like for how long so let's see what I will have to read for tomorrow which is Monday
Hello friends, happy Monday. I have started my reading so far. So we have five hours for today. I, the timer right now, we have about four hours and 14 minutes left. I took a break from A Darker Shades of Magic just because we're buddy reading it, so I'll only be doing it in little chunks each day. So I started listening to Thoroughly Pucked by Lauren Blakely. It is a duet style narration and I'm loving it. It's all about this woman who essentially on her wedding day, her groom breaks up with her, which she's fine with. She wasn't really feeling it anyways. And she runs away from her wedding with her brother's like two really good friends. I wouldn't say best friends, but like two of his close friends and they're kind of spending the day together so far. And obviously dot, 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 dot. We, we know this, this is not, it's a romance novel. We know where it's going. We know. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I will say I'm loving the narration. I'm having a fun time. I just feel like it's the perfect opposite. A Darker Shade of Magic, I feel like I have to really pay attention to. I feel like there is so much information and if I'm not careful, I will miss something. Versus with Thoroughly Pucked, it, it, is, it is a popcorn read. It is a fun time. It is for pure, pure, pure enjoyment and it's delivering so far, but it's time for me to head into work. Hi friends, happy Tuesday. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's a rough start to this morning. I slept through my alarm. I took a little nap in my car before work. I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Also, update for my five hours from yesterday, from Monday. I ended up having to finish about 37 minutes of it this morning. I did finish though. I am chapter 40 something into Thoroughly Pucked. So on the agenda today, I will be finishing Thoroughly Pucked. I will be continuing my chapters for A Darker Shade of Magic, but I did the random number generator and the number generator is once again kind to us. We have one hour. I don't know what we're gonna have to do, but if it hits one hour again, I'm gonna have to like generate again because that's no fun if all I get is one hour. So we'll see what tomorrow brings, but yeah, one hour today, easy peasy. I can definitely do that. I'm probably gonna go over that. So I'll share with you guys roughly how much reading I do. So I'll check in with you guys later. Hello friends. It is late Tuesday night. Not late. It's like what? Let me see. Ha! It's 8.50 on Tuesday night. Late for me. Um, and I wanted to update you guys. So as you guys know, the random generator, the random number generator decided I would only read for an hour today. I wanted to let you guys know. I decided to do a stopwatch and see how much I read. Anyways, I read for about two hours and 20 minutes today not a ton but honestly I needed kind of like a smaller amount of reading time today but I finished my chapters for A Darker Shade of Magic things are getting crazy but like in a good way I think this could be my favorite V.E. Schwab book very excited about that I'm very excited about this series I'm having the best time reading it with Danny and Rainey they are just couldn't think of two better people to read this series with honestly in my opinion what else? Oh, I finished Thoroughly Pucked by Lauren Blakely. I loved this book. It was exactly what I expected it to be. It was definitely spicy. This is a spicy, spicy, spicy book. If you don't like spice, this is not the series for you, which is also another important thing to note. I realized that this is book three in a series, so I need to go backwards. But here's the thing. It was marketed to me, it's a blue cover and it has an animal on the cover. So it was perfect for Realmathon. I'm going to go backwards. It's going to be fine. But what I love is apparently, I think there's a thruple in every single one of these books. So in this book, we follow Amber, right? And Amber's brother, Garrett, is the agent to Dev and Ledger. I think are the two guys' names. Let me tell you straight up. Garrett is an awful agent, an awful agent. I don't know what research went into writing him as an agent. My guess would be minimal because again, these books are not like super deep, if that makes sense. Like there's not a lot of depth to them. It's literally like, what happens if you find that you have an attraction to two guys and they have an attraction to you and they decide that they want to share you? That's, it doesn't get really any more depth than that. I just thought it was really interesting. Every time Garrett was trying to like work, I was like, but you're bad at your job. How do you have this job? It's irrelevant. It's so irrelevant. I will say this story is very lighthearted. There's little tension in terms of like conflict, if that makes sense. So if you're looking for a spicy, fast-paced read, 
this series could be something that you may enjoy. There's also sports elements to it because both of the guys do play hockey, um, but it's not necessarily like a big part of the book, if that makes sense. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it and it got me lots of good points for Realmathon. So it's a win, 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 if I'm being completely honest. I'm going to um, do the random number generator here in a minute. If it for some reason lands on a one again, I'm going to redo it. I don't want it to stay at one. That's not fun for anyone. I want us to have, you know, some excitement. So we'll see what I get for tomorrow. So last night you guys saw I got eight hours today. I was talking too much smack, to be honest, about getting one hour. And then the number generator was like, oh, bet, bet, do eight then, do eight. You talk such a big game, do eight. So we're going to do our best, but eight is hefty for a weekday. Eight would have been great on Friday or on Thursday. Today is going to be interesting. I've already done about 40 minutes because that's my commute in the morning. My commute's about 45, but I talk to my husband once he wakes up. So um, I got through 40 minutes of a new audiobook and I'm listening to That's Not My Name. I wanted to read this book back in girl bands when we did that readathon because of name in the title but the hold for it was forever but I'm super excited so essentially how this book starts is we are following this girl in the beginning who kind of comes out of this like woods and she's all banged up and beat up and she's discovered by the police and she doesn't remember anything about herself her name her parents where she lives what happened to her nothing nothing right and this man shows up at the police station. He's got her birth certificate, her social security card. He's got pictures. He's got all these things. And he's like, that's my daughter, Mary. Like, what do I have to do to prove that that is my daughter? And so they let her go with him, to my knowledge. That's where it seems like it left off in that chapter. Um, but then on the flip side, you have this girl, Lola, who's been missing um, after like a fight with her boyfriend, Drew, she goes missing. The whole town thinks that he did it. Um, so he's desperately trying to search for Lola. So I'm pretty sure, I don't even know if this is a spoiler. I don't think it is because it's like on the blurb on the back, but pretty sure Mary's not Mary. Mary is Lola. How the heck is she with this guy who has all this information about her? And like, yeah, so it's, it's already very interesting. Everybody's very sus already. And I'm having a good time. So we'll see how it goes. On the agenda, we have That's Not My Name, A Darker Shade of Magic, and I'm starting Mile High today. That's that's on the agenda for today. How far I'll get, no idea. But, but yeah, all right, I'm going into work. I'll see you guys later. Hello, friends. I've never recorded here, but we're in my garage. So welcome to Katie's Garage Talk. Um, I'm done for work for the day. I have about three and a half hours left of my eight hour day. I have, oh, I, I pray this isn't in slow motion because I, when I recorded my clip this morning, it was accidentally in slow motion. I'm going to pray that I can fix it. I was looking on the internet and it looks like I might be able to. So let's hope this is a normal video. Normal. But um, yes, I have three and a half hours left. I can't believe it. Honestly, I've been doing so, so good. I'm not mad about it. Uh, but the issue is, is that the Love is Blind, Love is Blind reunion is tonight. So how much reading will I get done tonight? I don't know. I also said that I was going to start Mile High today, but then I decided to do an impromptu buddy read with my cousin and we're going to read First Lie Wins. So apparently I... You can't trust anything I say. Apparently the first liar is me. I'm always lying apparently because I say I'm going to read this book and then I'm like, ooh, look at that book. And it all happened because my cousin posted a story with all these books and she was like, which one should I read next? And I was like, I could buddy read any of the top three with you. And then, then it happened. So, you know, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad, but, but it does make life interesting sometimes. So We'll see. But again, if I don't read those three and a half hours, what I will do is I will add it on to tomorrow's time. So let's pray that I don't get another eight hours tomorrow. But if I do, I can stay up all night reading because tomorrow is my Friday. Technically, it's Thursday. I don't work Fridays. So we'll be okay there. Um, but yeah, I'm not mad. Oh my gosh. So let's talk about That's Not My Name. I, I wasn't sure when I got to about the halfway mark, I wasn't sure how I felt about this book. I'm really invested in the story, but honestly, in thrillers, somebody explained it to me, why is it that the police are always lazy? Why? Why is it always a group of kids that have to do the police station's job? 
Somebody explain it to me. Now, I know it's just in books. I, I told, I'm not disrespecting police officers in any way, shape, or form. That's not what I'm saying. But how come in books, and thrillers, the police just be doing the least amount of work possible? I don't understand. How the story's unraveling, I think, is okay. I'm not upset about it. I definitely do want to figure out how it's all going to unfold. But, like, I don't know. I don't want to say too much. I just... I do think this is worth your time. It's also a very quick read. I have like less than two hours left. I've listened to six hours of this audiobook today. So you can definitely fly through this book. It should be on your TBR if it isn't. If you like thrillers, you're going you're gonna to like this book. But it also just, it's a little bit weird because like there's layers of like amnesia and things like that. And like we kind of have information that the main character doesn't have. So I don't know. Interesting, like interesting things interesting perspectives interesting choices but I'm not having a bad time a darker shade of magic Lila and Kel just met and I'm obsessed with it I'm obsessed with them I cannot wait I'm already like so invested hello my friends it is my Friday it's Thursday but it's my Friday I did not read a lot last night so I have about two hours left from my reading from Wednesday, if that makes sense. So last night when I did a check-in, I had about two and a half hours. No, maybe? No, last night when I did a check-in, I think I had three and a half hours left. I I had two and a half this morning, but I listened on my commute here. So I have about two hours left to catch up with yesterday. As you guys saw last night, I did a another number generator for today and I got three hours, which means I will be able to catch up. And then we're gonna see what tomorrow we get for our last day. I'm very excited, very nervous. On the agenda for today, I finished That's Not My Name. I did not guess the twist. The twist was good. Um, overall, I'm not sure how I feel about the book. I think it's going to be a four star. It, I mean, I binged it in one day, you guys. So I definitely wanted to know answers. I definitely wanted to know what was going on. I did not guess everything. And I love that. I love when I don't get everything right, even though a part of my soul dies because I have this need to be right. So I should really unpack that someday, but today is not the day. Um, I started first light wins. I'm only a couple chapters in. I love that the chapters are short. But I was talking to my cousin. I was like, these con women deserve applause because I could never go through that much effort and energy. No, I just can't be bothered. So good for them for putting that kind of like effort into things. I could never. I could never. So I'm listening to Bear Town. That is my audiobook right now. I need to fly through this book because I'm supposed to be reading book number two this month with a bunch of my friends and they're all waiting on me. I am the slow one and it's because I've tried to read Bear Town before and I softy enough it at the time. I wasn't like ready for it. So we're going to try again. I'm a couple hours in. Fingers crossed that I make it through it this week. I'd love to finish it tomorrow, but I have a lot of this audiobook left. I have like, mm, I want to say 11 hours, but maybe if I do two speed, you know, that's not that bad. About five and a half ish hours we'll see we'll see what happens I'm enjoying it so far the second time around and then on my agenda I will also be reading my pages and chapters for A Darker Shade of Magic which I'm really really enjoying so far so that's my reading agenda for the day I'll check in with you guys soon hello friends happy Friday new location today I finally get to record at home it feels so exciting so I just finished my hours from yesterday I had about an hour and a half left that I had to do this morning so I was listening to Bear Town which I think I'm like 33% in right now and then I've also been reading First Lie Wins which I am on chapter 14 my cousin's way ahead of me but honestly I juggle books and she doesn't so it's okay. I'm not mad about it. I am enjoying it. There was like a little lull in First Lie Wins uh, where I was like, okay, let, like the pacing felt weird in a little bit, but it's gotten back to where I'm intrigued. I'm interested. I definitely want to see where things go, but I do, I would argue that there is a few pacing issues, if that makes sense. Um, I don't really want to tell you much about First Lie Wins just because of the fact that like I feel like it's a good book to go in blind. Any thriller, I feel like other than checking triggers, is a good book to go in not knowing much because then it'll surprise you. It, like, Because sometimes synopsis can give away so much information about the book. So just something to be careful about. So I wanted to show that I did do my 
random number generator for our last day. I'm surprised it was not higher, but I am not complaining because honestly I've been getting behind and I do have a ton of things to get done today. Obviously I have to film, I have to edit, I have to um, go live. So I don't have quite as much time, if that makes sense. Things just get a little bit scatterbrained when I'm home. Um, and so the generator did choose and it is four hours for today. So that'll be starting soon. My hope is that I will be reading Bear Town, A Darker Shade of Magic and hopefully finishing First Light Wins. That's, that's on my agenda. Who knows where the day will take me though. Um, I've been picking up and juggling so many books that I, I would not be surprised if all plans go to the wind. Hello, hello everyone. It is officially Saturday. I wanted to circle back and let you guys know that I did finish the challenge. I finished. I finished right before midnight, right before I went live with um, with Neva, Coda, and Nicole. It was so fun. I really enjoyed this challenge. It was really fun. And even though there were days I got behind, I, I don't know, I really, really enjoyed it. Even today I was like, oh, I'm not doing a random number generator. Like, what do I do, read for fun? I am almost done with First Light Wins. Whoops, with First Light Wins. I have about less than 100 pages, so I'm gonna try and finish that right now before my husband and I go out on some adventures. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was fun to watch. It was definitely fun to film and I would love to do it again. Maybe when I have time off, I could do it more unhinged styled where we go up to like 12 hours, 14 hours. That could be an interesting thing to, to do, but I just could not be working at the same time uh, because that would never, that would never be possible. I accomplished it. I challenge you to give this a try if you haven't. I think you'll be surprised by how much you actually read in a day. But anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much, and I will see you in the next video.